53. Al-Kawi, the strong, Al-Kawi is one of the 99 names of Allah, God, mentioned in Islamic tradition. Allah al kawiyu is al kai in Arabic, al kawiyu meaning the one who commands all power and whose strength is unparalleled to anything else. His strength is truly unlimited and inexhaustible, man's strength does not compare to that of Allah the Almighty. al kawi is derived from the root word kawa, which means strength, power, and might. al kawi signifies the supreme strength and power of Allah, highlighting his ability to overcome any obstacle, dominate all things, and provide support and assistance to his creation. As a name of Allah, al kawi reinforces the concept of relying on his strength and seeking his help in times of need. From the root kafavya, kafwaya, which has the following classical Arabic connotations. To be strong, vigorous, potent, to be robust, hardy, sturdy, to have sufficient strength. The name al kawi sometimes written as al kawi is mentioned a total of nine times in the Quran. It refers to Allah's attribute of being strong. The one who has perfect power. He is eternal, death is not something that touches him, from Ayatul Kursi, neither drowsiness overtakes him nor sleep, Quran 2-255, no weakness or deficiencies reach him. His strength is inexhaustible and overcomes all, he is the most strong, to be strong is a broader concept than power of some manifestation of physical strength. In a sense it describes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala entity as being perfected, he does not suffer from any weakness, whether it be his sight, hearing, judgment, or knowledge. He can provide whatever for whomever, with regard to his life, it is absolutely enduring forever, he is strong in all aspects, there are no exceptions. Because of his perfect strength, we rely upon him for our success alone. Given a choice between two leaders, you would likely choose the one whose power was unmatched, assuming they are not morally corrupt. Similarly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has unlimited capacity and possess superior judgment, he is the only one who can provide the comfort and protection we seek. For this reason, this name is often mentioned in pairs with Alaziz, the mighty, or Al-Mateen, the firm. Imam al-Ghazali has noted, strength indicates perfect power, while firmness indicates intensification of strength, Allah's decree is immovable. Whatever he wills will happen, and nothing can prevent it. One of the women said, O oh my father, hire him, indeed, the best one you can hire is the strong and the trustworthy, Quran 28-26. They have not appraised Allah with true appraisal, indeed, Allah is powerful and exalted in might, Quran 2274. Allah is subtle with his servants, he gives provisions to whom he wills, and he is the powerful, the exalted in might, Quran 42:19. He has unlimited capability and should be feared in the sense that if he chose to go against you, you would be helpless. In the Quran, if Allah should aid you, no one can overcome you, but if he should forsake you, who is there that can aid you after him? And upon Allah let the believers rely, Quran 3-160. Nothing is able to stand on its own, there is a consequence when we exercise or use any strength or power, in a physical sense, for example, in lifting weights, we get tired and need to rest. There is a limit to what we're capable of, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not get tired, He created the entirety of the universe with ease and can do so many times over. Our moment-to-moment -moment existence is because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sustains it until the appointed time, there is not a thing that has independence or strength but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
It was narrated that Abu Musa said, The Prophet heard me saying, La hala wa la quata illa bila, there is no power and no strength except with Allah. He said, O Abdullah bin Qais, shall I not tell you of a word which is one of the treasures of paradise? I said, Yes, O Messenger of Allah. He said, Say, La hala wa la quata illa bila, there is no power and no strength except with Allah. From this comes humility and understanding whatever strength or ability we possess, it is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We should derive power and confidence from our belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is like when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded Musa, as, with his message to go to Pharaoh, Pharaoh, indeed, he has transgressed, Quran 2024. Can you imagine criticizing any king, let alone the tyrannical king of Egypt, and say to him that he has transgressed? It is quite paradoxical, our fear in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala should be a source of courage and strength in this life to do what is right. To stand up in the face of injustice and to try and aid those oppressed, the strong believer is the one who believes in the most strong, al qaai We sent aforetime our messengers with clear signs and sent down with them the book and the balance, of right and wrong, that men may stand forth in justice, and we sent down iron. In which is, material for, mighty war, as well as many benefits for mankind, that Allah may test who it is that will help, unseen, him and his messengers. For Allah is full of strength, exalted in might, and able to enforce his will, Quran 57:25. And Allah repelled those who disbelieved in their rage, not having obtained any good and sufficient was Allah for the believers in battle, and ever is Allah powerful and exalted in might. Quran 33:25. It was narrated that Abu Huraira said, the messenger of Allah said, the strong believer is better and more beloved to Allah than the weak believer, although both are good. Strive for that which will benefit you, seek the help of Allah, and do not feel helpless. If anything befalls you, do not say, if only I had done such and such, rather say Gadara Allah wa ma sha fala, Allah has decreed, and whatever he wills, he does. 4. Saying, if opens, the door, to the deeds of Satan. The name Al-Kawi can be understood as one of the attributes of Allah, emphasizing his immense power and strength. Allah is described as the Almighty, possessing the ultimate strength and ability to do anything. He is limitless in his power, capable of creating, sustaining, and controlling all things in the universe. This attribute signifies the absolute dominance and might of Allah, demonstrating his ability to overcome any resistance or challenge.